Hello everyone, welcome to Green Gander 75. My name is Buddy. Today we're going to be working on my dad's Shopsmith Mark V. This machine's probably older than me, or we're about the same age. Don't quite recall. All I know is my dad has had it as long as I've been around and I can remember. So, um, got some noise in it. Dad's had some issues in the past with having to uh, do some spindle work on it. And it uh, looks like that's probably what we're going to be getting into. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tear it down uh, as far as we can and uh, pretty do some extensive maintenance on it because it is an old machine. Um, probably going on at least 40 years or more. So uh, we're going to get down to the get down to the basics on this machine and have a look at it and find out what's going on with it and uh, how we can uh, get it back up and running real good for many, many more years. So uh, let's go ahead and um, get this thing broke down and have a look at it. We'll start the disassembly process by removing the motor. To make it easier to remove the motor, I open the sheaves by turning the speed selector. It is time to remove the toggle switch by loosening the nut with a pair of needle nose pliers. With the motor now on the workbench, it is time to begin taking it apart. Here I'm using a board to safely remove the spring. It would have been easier with two people, but I managed to make it work. Instructions for the board can be found in the Shopsmith service manual. Dad has now joined me in the shop and we quickly diagnosed the issue as bad bearings. Now it is time to take the motor apart. Here you can see the rotor with the bearings. I'll press them off later off camera and order replacements from McMaster car. Now we're going to remove the spindle. There are several bearings that will have to be replaced on it. I'll order them from McMaster car. Removing the spindle is a complex procedure. I recommend getting a service manual from Shopsmith before attempting this.
the Shopsmith headstock is now disassembled and the new parts are on order. Join me next time as we put it all back together and give it a test run. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and have a good evening.